Lone Star Drill's LSGT plus HDA is a rugged and dependable track-mounted drill designed for soil sampling and geotechnical testing. In this video, we'll walk through the basic procedure for taking a soil sample with a split spoon sampler. Raise the drill head and connect the auger. Then lower the drill until it contacts the ground. Give the engine full throttle to begin drilling. After drilling down about one foot, raise the drill and clean any grass, dirt, and roots off the bed. Make sure there are no roots hindering the drilling. Run the drill at full speed rotation all the way down, then feather the head down and allow the soil to work up the auger flight. Forcing the auger down too quickly can cause binding and possibly lift the drill rig from the ground. Clear the hole. After you have gotten all the soil out of the hole, raise the auger. Remove the auger by using a hammer to remove the drive pin. Add a tube extension to allow the top of the auger to drill down flush to the ground. Continue to add extensions and drill down until you reach the desired sampling depth. Once you reach your depth, remove the auger and extensions from the hole. Lower the drill head and pivot it to the side. Unpin the automatic hammer from storage position. Using the winch, pivot and raise the automatic hammer, then lower it to line up with the split spoon sampler tube. It may be helpful to lower the RPM of the engine in order to move the hammer more slowly. Attach the hammer to the split spoon sampler tube and pin the rod to the anvil. Before starting the hammer, remove the pin holding the anvil to the hammer. Start the hammer and allow it to automatically drive the sampler into the soil to the desired depth. Remember to use air protection while running the automatic hammer. Using the hydraulic winch, lower the hammer and replace the pin holding the anvil to the hammer. Then use the winch to raise the hammer and sampler. If the winch is unable to dislodge the sampler, disconnect the hammer from the rod. Use the winch to place the hammer into storage position. Pivot the drill head back into position. Use the drill head with the retrieval tool to dislodge the sampler. Use the clamp to hold the drill rod string as sections of drill rod are removed from the hole. Continue to use the drill head and retrieval tool to remove the remaining drill rod and sampler from the hole. Now it's time to remove the soil sample. Start by removing each end of the split spoon sampler tube. Remove one half of the tube. Disregarding the very top layer of soil, dump the soil out and place into storage containers. Make sure to mark on the containers what depth the soil came from. Reassemble the split spoon sampler to complete the process. Now to prepare the drill for movement, use the hammer to dislodge the wedges on each side of the mass base and pin up into position. Use the hydraulic mass cylinder lever to lower the mast. Replace the bin in the transport rest. Lower the drill tracks to the ground and raise the outriggers. Then remove the wood pads from under them. At the base of the tower, slide the square bars off the tube rest by moving pins to alternate holes in the square bars. Raise the drill head near the base of the tower. Attach the winch cable clevis to the drill head. Lower the drill head to lower the tower with cable tension. It may be necessary to use the winch to adjust cable slack. Switch the lever on the front side of the drill from drill rig to track drive position. Use the remote control to drive the drill to the next location or to storage. For additional information, including written instructions, optional sampling tools, and our soil sampling brochure, visit LoneStarDrills.com.